हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर रूपाली शेड़के वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग इन वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द पॉइंट फॉर्म ऑफ द एम्पियर्स लॉ एंड स्ट्रोक्स थेरम लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू डिराइव एम्पियर सर्क्यूटर लॉ which is also called as a curse law or a ampere's law to the differential element and we are going to state with the stroke's theorem these are the contents which are going to covered in this video now let us recall what is a ampere's law in the previous videos we are discussed with the ampere circuital law let us recall that Yes, what is the ampere circuital law? The ampere circuital law states that the line integral of the magnetic field intensity across the closed loop path is equal to the current enclosed by that path, which is a mathematically given as a closed integral of h bar dl bar is equal to i. now using this equation we will see the application of this law as a point form of the ampere's law the point form of the ampere's law for that let us consider a closed path in a xy plane we will consider a path following in a xy following in a xy plane enclosing a current element which is along the z axis the filament which is carrying the current we place that in along the z axis then the magnetic field is shown in a anti clockwise direction according to the right hand thumb rule so in figure we will consider a xyz plane in a cartesian form and a plane lying in a xy plane as it is lying in the xy plane we will consider the change in the length as a dx and dy change and we'll consider a point p where we are desired to find the magnetic field intensity then the magnetic field intensity at a point p it is given by h bar is equal to h x0 ax bar plus hy0 ay bar plus H Z zero A Z bar. As it is in a Cartesian form, it will be in a X Y Z respectively. So, according to the Ampere's law, it is a closed integral of H D L is equal to I. So, we will expand this equation for this figure. It is a closed integral will be now from one to two, two to three. Three to four and four to one. So the H closed integral H D L will be from H one to change in length L one to two. H length magnetic field in a two to three change in length L two uh, to three. Magnetic field in a three to four change in the length from three to four and magnetic field from four to one and change in the length from four to one. the magnetic field intensity closed integral we'll first find out the magnet this term that is h12 2 from 1 to 2 as we seen that this is in a z direction sorry it is in a y direction so it will be a hy 1 to 2 and change in length del del l1 to 2 will be now del y as shown in this figure because this is in a y direction so the length will be a del y so we will elaborate this in a more thing del y 1 to 2 del y will be equal to now this is a magnetic field intensity exactly at a point p this is at the point p it is a hy due to the this filament due to this filament this uh, line it will be a as it is in a y direction that's why it is a hy 0 and 
the magnetic field is varying in this area, in this space. So, it will be a change in the magnetic field with respect to x. And for how much length? It is a half of the del x. So, it will be a del x by 2. So, the total magnetic field is the addition of at that point plus the change in the magnetic field for this space. So, we will substitute this value over here at this point and del y as it is. So, we will mark this as equation number 3. Similarly, let us see for the 2 to 3. For 2 to 3, what is the variation? It is in a x direction, but it is in a negative x direction. So, from 2 to 3, the h 2 3, uh, 2 3 will be in a x direction, h x 0 plus change in the magnetic field in this space, in this space as it is with respect to x, uh, with respect to y, it will be dou h x by dou y and for the uh, for the length it will be half of the del x by 2 and in the direction it will be a minus del x. Similarly, now we will see for the 3 to 4. 3 to 4 again the direction is y but it is a minus y. So, we will first consider for the point it will be a h y 0 over here and for this space, for this space again the change in the magnetic field for the with respect to x and the direction as we are consider it as a negative uh, in a del x by 2. See the direction is in a negative x y del x by 2 and y is also a negative y. Now for the equation from 4 to 1 for the for 4 to 1 it will be again a change in the magnetic field with respect to x therefore it will be a h x 0 plus change in the magnetic field h x with respect to y minus del y by 2 and as it is in a positive direction from 4 to 1 that will be a del x. So, when we now as we are marked this equation as equation 3, 4, 5 and 6, we are going to substitute in this equation, equation number 2. After substituting this in a equation 2, the equation 2 will reduce to, see as, as when we multiply this term inside the bracket, this will be minus, this will also be a minus. The z h y 0 and h y 0 1 is positive and negative they will cancel out your h 0 and 1 h 0 is minus that is why it will also get cancelled out. and only we remains with the 2 h y plus 2 h del x into del x by 2 into del y minus 2 del h x del y del y by 2 into del x when you uh, then 2 to get cancel out over here and only you remain with the dou h x by dou x minus dou h h z by h x by dou y and d y del x del y. These are the common term. So, from the equation close integral of h d l is equal to i according to the Ampere's law. So, we will equate this equation, received equation equal to i. When you take this term at the denominator on the RHS side, i upon del x by del x by del x is nothing but a area. This is a area therefore, which is covered in a x y plane. This is a nothing but a current density. A current density is defined as a ratio of current per unit area which is denoted by j. As our current is in this, we are assumed that it is in a z direction. So, the current carrying filament is in a z direction. So, the j will be, the current will be in a z direction. So, we denote j z over here. This is dou, dou dy by dou x minus dou dx by dy. If you see that our 
plane we are consider is a xy plane. So, the equation will be in a xy plane. Similarly, if you consider the loop in a xz plane, here if we are considering in a xz plane, then the equation will reduce in this will be in a equation will be in a xz plane x and z and the current carrying filament will be in a y direction. Similarly, if you consider for the yz plane, for yz plane the equation will be in a terms of y and z and the current density will be in a x direction. So, we got the equation 7, 8, 9 we will combine. So, what will the j in a represented in a Cartesian coordinate? It will be j x a x bar, j y a y bar, j z a z bar. We as we know the equation j z, j y and j x. When we substitute in this equation number 11, so the equation will be this is nothing but a j bar will be equal to del cross h bar, the curl product of the h bar which is a reduced equation uh, which is nothing but a expanded form of the equation number 12 and this is a reduced form of this equation. This is nothing but a called as a equation called as a point form of the Ampere's law which is given as a j bar is equal to del cross h bar where j bar is a current density and h bar is a magnetic field intensity. Using this, we can state the Stokes theorem. Let us recall the Ampere's law, which is a closed integral of I dl is equal to I. But I is nothing but an integral over the J ds, because I is equal to J is equal to I upon S. According to the Ampere's point law, just now we are defined J bar is equal to del cross H bar. When we substitute this equation number 3 in equation number 2, then equation 2 will be del cross h bar ds. We have substituted value of the j bar. Comparing the equation 1 and 2, 1 and 2 on both the side it is compared with the i. So, it will be a closed integral of h dl is equal to closed integral, integral over the surface del cross h bar Yes. So, we can state that this is a Stokes theorem. So, it can be a any vector. The statement for the Stokes theorem is given as integral of any vector acro across the closed loop path is always equal to the integration of the curl of that vector. This is the integration of the curl of that vector throughout the closed path. So, in general, we can write this equation with considering the any vector a. When you compare the divergence theorem and the Stokes theorem, the divergence theorems relate surface with the volume and uh, here it relates the length with the surface. And both the theorems are valid for the any vector fit. The curl can be represented in a Cartesian form that is nothing but a j bar del cross h bar is equal to by substituting the i is equal to 1 x y and z i j k and u v w multiplying factor as a 1 1 1 curl in a cylindrical form for that we will consider i is equal to rho j is equal to phi and k is equal to z and u v w as a u is equal to 1, uh, rho v is equal to rho and w is equal to 1. When this is general form, you can substitute the values over here and we can get the curl in a cylindrical form that is del cross h bar is equal to. And in a spherical form, for spherical coordinates, we substitute r is, i is equal to r, j is equal to theta and k is equal to phi and u is equal to 1, v is equal to r and w is equal to r sin theta in this equation and the equation will reduce in this form. This is nothing but a j cross j bar is equal to del cross h bar. These are the references. Thank you.